Hey, morning. This is May. How's everyone doing? It's just another gloomy day in New York. I always attempt to wake up at eight, but end up snoozing my alarm until eight thirty. First thing to do in the morning is checking out my emails, responding them in polite manners, cleaning my place, feeling proud of myself being a responsible adult. After dealing with the chores, I will start making breakfast. This is my recent favorite breakfast. I saw the recipe from a chef friend who was working in the restaurant in Manhattan. He told me that every morning he loves to keep his eggs simple, no scramble, no omelets, just sunny side up eggs. So to season the salad, sprinkle some salt, drizzle on olive oil, a squeeze of lime juice. A yummy breakfast is never missing out avocado. Slice the avocado and place the slices onto crispy toast. Season with salt, chili flakes, and lime juice. Eggs on top, salads on the side, and I will take my secret weapon out, which turns out to be the spirit of the salad is grating the cheese. Lastly, I would add a spoonful of my favorite basil nut sauce. Oh my god, this looks incredibly good. Making my morning coffee with the Nespresso coffee machine. I assume this set can cost at least thirty bucks, including the tax and the tips. So I literally just saved thirty bucks, crushing it. After breakfast, I put on some makeup to look pretty and not scare off people on the streets. Just some foundation, eyebrows, eyeliner, eyeshadows, mascara, and contour, and now look fabulous. We dress up for school. Since it's freezing outside, I'm wearing the ultra warm long sleeve from Uniqlo, a cute cardigan from Oak and Ford, elegant pure earrings from Kohl's. Over knee boots to keep me stylish and warm. A beautiful chain bag from Tory Burch. Lately, I've been enjoying wearing cute muffs, kawaii, and a Canada goose jacket, which I stole from my mom. Thanks, mom. Now heading to school. New York subway is full of different smells. I'll let you guys imagine it. Student life is so much fun, yeah. After school, it's lunch time. I'm making a healthy and yummy salmon recipe. Start by marinating the salmon fillet with salt, onion powder, paprika powder, Italian seasoning, and then I will peel the potatoes, boil them in the salted water for around 10 to 15 minutes. Chop the vegetables, including the zucchini. Red bell peppers, yellow bell peppers, and onions. Season with salt, onion powder. Almost forgot the chickpeas. Add on to some paprika, a spoonful of olive oil, then combine well. Place the marinated salmon and a slice of lime on top of the vegetables. Bake it in the oven for around 20 minutes until golden brown. Potatoes are ready. Mash while hot. Add a splash of milk or almond milk, season with salt, pepper, and chop cilantro for enhanced flavor. Add all the ingredients into the bowl to complete a nutritious and delectable homemade comfort meal. In the afternoon, I love staying at my favorite coffee shop located in NoHo. Today, I managed to do some readings, complete the assignments, and simply enjoy hot coffee in the winter and solitude. After I got home, I started to practice English with Elsa. As I mentioned in my previous video, Elsa is the perfect English learning tool that I've been searching for. It's very well designed, easy to use, providing a wide range of day-to-day -to -day topics to make you sound more like a native speaker. In this app, you only have to spend 10 minutes per day Cut to practice the dialogue with the AI Cut tutor. Me some slack. Elsa corrects my pronunciation. With a grain of salt. Give me the cold shoulder. Give me the cold shoulder. Provide fun and practical topics that are so easy and effortless to follow along. Can you tell me if this day comes with any sides? 
have a choice of salad, fries, or soup. That's a tough choice. How's the salad? That's a tough choice. How's the salad? If you are a student preparing for exam, Elsa gives you tips and courses targeting your TOEFL and IELTS exams. With the focus lessons like IELTS vocabulary lessons, you will get access to everything you need to succeed academically. I know my introduction about Elsa has greatly aroused your interest. Don't be shy. Come join the English learning journey with me. Use the first link in the description box or scan the QR code you see on the screen to download Elsa for free or get a 7 days pro membership for free. You can also use the second link in the description box for the amazing Luna New Year discounts. But hurry, they are only available for a limited time. After the workout, I walked to my favorite supermarket, Wegmans, which has become one of the most popular supermarket chains in recent years in the United States. The interior design is premium, clean, and stylish. In my opinion, what sets Wegmans apart from other competitors is their freshly made sushi. It is prepared right in front of you at the sushi bar, looking fresh and yummy. In addition to that, Wegmans has an extensive prepared food section offering ready-to-eat healthy bowls, desserts, a chicken wing bar, pizza, and other deli items. The Asian bar doesn't look appetizing to me though. Heading down to the basement, there is a wide variety of vegetables, meat, and grocery essentials. My favorite is the Japanese seafood section, where you can find high-quality sashimi directly imported from Japan, and the prices are surprisingly affordable. After I arrived home, I couldn't wait to try out the lime and butter scallops recipe I saw on the internet. First and foremost, pat the scallops with a kitchen towel and season them with salt and black pepper. Don't let them sit for too long. Add a spoonful of olive oil into the pan and grill the scallops for 1-2 to two minutes per side over medium heat. Remove them from the pan for later. In the same pan, add some butter. After the butter has melted, squeeze in some lime juice, season with salt and Italian seasoning. Then pour the sauce onto the scallops. Last but not least, sprinkle some parsley leaves. And you are ready to dive in. I almost forgot that I also got the spicy tuna volcano rolls from Wegmans, which looks amazingly good.今天真的很漂亮<笑> 有那么离谱。When people ask me how to find motivation in life, I always suggest focusing on the little things that bring you joy. Setting goals can be really intimidating. So stick to the achievable tasks that you can do in the everyday setting. Whether it's trying out a new recipe, writing an Instagram post, breaking a sweat at a gym, or spending time learning a language, they may seem trivial at first, but they will undoubtedly accumulate over weeks and months of consistency. In the end, they will transform you into the person you aspire to be. Thanks for watching the video. Happy Chinese New Year! Let's conquer this year together!